that it may be one of the best dishes that we've had at Walt Disney World. Yep. So, hands uh, down. Best appetizer I've ever had at Disney World. Do the, Do the bathrooms have doors? Do the bathrooms all have doors? <laughs> yeah. Important uh, question, uh, apparently. They all Jamba have House, doors. Got, Jamba House, they have doors too. So, that's a good thing. <laughs> Those are, you know, that is a nice feature. The door? Uh, I know Steve has... Welcome, Walt Disney World fans, to another episode of the Knotcast, presented by KnotClub33.com. Another resort review this week, this time Animal Kingdom Lodge. My name is Steve Rhodes. With me this week, it's Pat Neistat. What's up? I don't even know what's going on. Becky Wells is here. (laughs) I think he needs a lifeguard. <laughs> he needs a backyotomy. It's uh, Bobby Burton's the Disney Cynic. <laughs> oh, I fucking twisted my back. How the fuck did I do that? Dude, you're pushing you forward. You, you can't do be that? doing that. It's like, You've been fucking I'm dancing all night. Wrong. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's just, let's get through How'd this. How'd you do uh, that? You know. <laughs> Note to you folks at home that are pushing 40, that's what happens when you try things. <laughs> Especially <laughs> sitting someone over 40, I know better. three of us trying Yeah, shit. we're like, yeah, I would never do that. <laughs> because that might happen. <laughs> well, uh, Animal Kingdom reason. Lodge. Uh, what I are think you talking about? <laughs> Animal Kingdom Lodge. Uh, we're going to throw in the DVC, both Kidani, Jumbo, the retail side. All as one and uh, give our thoughts on this place. I think this is one of the uh, places that we all agree on is a fantastic resort. So I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of bad, but um, I guess we'll kick it off. Uh, Pat, why don't we start with you this week? Hmm. And why don't you give us your thoughts on AKL? Hmm. So I, 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 I love staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I've, I stayed there just about, the last couple of years I've stayed, I've stayed at least a day or a night there. Um, the restaurants are great. The rooms, the Savannah rooms, I don't think they I don't think anywhere. I, I can't think of a place outside of like going to Africa where you would get that type of experience. Um, right. So just, just that alone, I think it's worth just experiencing Animal Kingdom Lodge. Um, and then to go with it, all the restaurants and it, all, here's another fact about Animal Kingdom Lodge that outside of Africa it has more artifacts than anywhere else in the world. Yep. So, um, I mean, it's just a very unique, it's a very, very unique detailed resort and it's a Joe Rody resort. So, all right. Joe, got, did Joe Rody do yeah. that? Oh yeah. So oh, you yeah. know it's good. Are we, are we a hundred percent sure that he did that? hundred percent because uh, I've seen the video of him <laughs> explaining okay. why the well, uh, birds or the animals are going out into the, they're all like on the, uh, in the lobby, all the animals are facing out towards the Savannah. So, That's his idea. Yeah. So there's, there's blocking to it. Yeah. There's a couple Disney resorts that I've been to and uh, that Joe Rody, like Alani is the same way. The detail in Alani is just incredible. Mm-hmm. Just like the animal kingdom lodge. And it's just, it's very unique that all the Disney resorts. So if you have a chance, I'd say that's, this is the place to go. And I, I believe it's also got the largest selection of South African wine outside of South Africa too, something oh, of that nature. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I think that's at G maybe that's just at Gico, but Gico. they, yeah, you can get a bunch of uh, stuff. Speaking of Gico recently, uh, Bobby, you had Pat on your podcast and did a uh, little rundown on that resort, on that uh, restaurant, which is top notch. If you want to just give a little bit of thoughts on your Animal Kingdom experience. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, that uh, episode of the Cynics on Disney podcast is one of my favorites of all time. Seriously, it's it's a top five, if not the best episode that we've ever done. Um, And it's because it just went off the fucking rails in like five minutes. It was great. It was fantastic. Um, you know, I think that everybody here is going to have nothing but positives to say about Animal Kingdom Lodge, and it's well earned and well deserved. Uh, I don't think that you can get this experience anywhere but uh, the the continent of Africa. So again, like, how can you? Uh, really, I don't understand how people like don't go to this. I don't understand how it's not sold out all the time. I really don't. Um, the one thing, if I'm going to put it like kind of in a vacuum so to speak just as a resort logistically speaking 
it yeah. is a pain yeah. to walk around that resort because of all the curvatures of, of the buildings. For one thing, they have thousands upon thousands of rooms within each of one of those curvatures. It feels like so like it just it feels like you can walk a real long way the the benefit being inside but it's it's if you get one of those rooms on, on the very end of your tower it, expect like a, a good long huff it of a walk uh, to to get to the lobby get to the buses where wherever but that's really about the only downside to this resort that i've got i mean like you know the views are spectacular even the ones that aren't uh, savannah views you can step outside the room and go uh, mm -hmm. check out the the big glass uh windows that, that they have that are you know top or you know basically basement to uh to rooftop uh, all glass so that you don't have an obstructed view of anything it's it's an amazing yeah. experience and i really think that everybody should go check it out yeah and the price that you pay um this is the cheapest deluxe usually pretty much any given time that's not yep. saratoga springs essentially um or old Key West, I guess, but it's one of the cheapest options for a deluxe resort for either DVC point rentals or just straight retail. And you're going to get, I mean, if you wanted to do this, like you're going to, like there's like a JW Marriott, you can do this at in Africa and you're going to pay yep. JW Marriott prices. Um, this by far and away is a lot cheaper and there's going to be a freaking giraffe out your room. Um, and <laughs> like, we're said, not joking Bobby, about that. I mean, yeah, like yeah. they, they will literally get up and close to you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's they smell incredible. Like shit. Well, I mean, they take yeah. shits. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but I, I think with the food, the pools, um, just the complex. But I, I will I will add on to your logistic thing, Bobby. Not just the, the hotel itself, because like at Kidani, you got to go down into the parking garage to get outside to go to the pool. It's just kind of yeah. stupid, and walk across the street to go swimming and just kind of dumb. But um, the location itself you would think you'd be able to just go to animal kingdom well, you, you can't you, you know you got to get in your car take a bus there's they really need to make a skyliner or do something with that resort to get it into the parks a lot quicker um would be my one negative but outside of the logistical portion i can't say anything bad about the place it's checks every single box but that and that's mm -hmm. probably one of the reasons why you chose it becky as you are a dvc owner at that property it is. Uh, you know, we were going back and forth when we were making this purchase on uh, Saratoga being, uh, you know, a little bit less expensive, uh, a little more bang for your buck on on the upfront cost. Um, but, you know, the initial expiration, we had looked at a lot of different things. However, we broke it down to, all right, so if we're going to go and not worry about our 11 month priority, both of these Saratoga and uh, Animal Kingdom have availability of seven months almost always. But we thought, all right, what if for whatever reason we can't or don't want to own this till kingdom come when it expires? So we decided what's the one that's more unique which, or more desirable or something that you can't just find somewhere else. And it was a hundred percent Animal Kingdom Lodge like that. Yeah. That can be its own destination without worrying about going to Disney world or anything else, you can have an entire yeah. resort experience. And that was honestly right. There was the selling, like that's the one we want. So we think that Kidani has the best pool on property. Um, the water slide is fast. Right it's really fun. Uh, it does have a cool splash pad area for littles. Um, I, we like that splash pad like area that is us. awesome for small children. <clears throat> Yeah. Yep. And then the hot tub area is nice. It's kind of secluded, but you can still see everything if you wanted to. Whatever works. Um, the rooms at Kidani, uh, one bedroom, two bedroom, have an additional bathroom. So Ooh. a one bedroom has two full bathrooms. A two bedroom has nice. three full bathrooms, which when you've got seven people in a room having three full bathrooms, yeah, everybody's getting showered. Dude, the and bathrooms have the doors. Day. To the bathrooms they all bathrooms. have doors. <laughs> yeah. Important uh, question, uh, apparently. They all Jamba have house, doors. They got, Jamba House, they have doors too. So <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> Those are, you know, that is a nice feature. <laughs> a door? Uh, I know bathroom? Steve has some some issues with <laughs> some issues with uh with chair scraping balconies, but you know. Yeah. 
<laughs> I, I, but, I don't uh, think I've ever had that issue at any other Disney resort or any hotel for that matter. But <laughs> those damn balconies are loud as shit. And if you are on the top floor or a floor above somebody, don't go outside and just slide your chair around at four o'clock in the morning like a fucking asshole. <laughs> Have some respect. <laughs> but it is, I mean, but if you are up at four o'clock and you're not moving a chair, the balcony looking over the savannah is pretty cool. You can see some it's incredible. Meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So, and uh, yeah. to Bobby's point, the hallways, I believe the Kadani hallways are the longest hotel hallways in the world. I'm pretty sure that's really? a thing. I, yeah. I <laughs> mean, I I've stayed there. I mean, I assume it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's uh, that's a downside for uh, in my husband's opinion. I mean, it's a downside for anybody because you're tired sure. at the end of the day. Yeah. But, you know, depending on where you're coming from and wh- what part you're staying at, there's, you know, a faster way to get in if you think of it. But if you just go in through the lobby every time, you're kind of screwed. Um, <laughs> I like the restaurants. I think they're all fantastic. Boma is one of the best buffets that you're going to find. Um, you can get just just find unique flavors and flavor profiles, uh, just like at Animal Kingdom Park. So I, I love it. I think the decor is a little, it's a little dark inside. And uh, I did a review of their two bedroom a few years ago. And there's a few things that I would adjust, but uh, they are going to get a refurbishment in the next couple of years anyway. So maybe they'll brighten it up a little, but the details are impeccable everywhere. In the bedrooms? So Yeah. In the in, bedrooms and there's yeah. in, in the lobbies. Your dresser the, drawers. There's like, you might yeah. as well be in the Lion King. It's like what Rafiki <laughs> painted. It's yeah, like, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And it's all and it's carved not, out and and not um, talked about the it. Also. Lobbies, like mm-hmm. you can oh, go out lobbies. and talk to keepers, uh, yeah. you know, and just learn about the animals. They've got scavenger hunts. They've got they got a fucking rope people. bridge. Yeah, you can talk to the people. Yeah. Uh, there's a nighttime oh, safari. Yeah. There's all kinds of things outside the parks that are at that, yeah. you know, at that resort. Um, at when Christmas time, the international. Christmas, yeah. I was going to just say Christmas time. You wouldn't expect it, but man, it's awesome over there during stunning yeah i think this is one of those resorts where um even if you're you're not staying on property or whatever and you just have some time to kill this would be a place to just go there and well even if you don't like disney you don't like parks yeah. you don't like theme parks yeah you know go get a res- a reservation at one of the restaurants and just meander around and just check it out because i mean just seeing the savannas with the animals on them i mean you go to Sanan, you're like eating on a savanna <laughs> with a freaking yeah. glass window and a freaking savanna right there and amazing bread service and food and drink. It's just one of those things that's incredible. It's worth it to just check out if you're just, even thinking about yeah. going to that area. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say that like uh, you guys talked about Sanaa and Boma, which are both great restaurants. I think Jico may be the best oh. of the three restaurants. And yeah. uh it doesn't I don't get much debatable. love because there's not a <laughs> yeah. lot of, yeah, it's not a very big place, but the, it, it's not ever crowded ever. And they, uh, Bobby and I had the wild boar there. And I think both of us were under the opinion. I don't want to speak for you, Bobby, but I, we discussed it, but that it may be one of the best dishes that we've had at Walt Disney world. Yep. So yeah. hands down mean, best appetizer I've ever had at Disney world. I'll link uh, that episode of your podcast in the description notes. Uh, and hopefully by then we'll have your RSS feed fixed. But uh, it, the, uh, the old, that episode is still out there uh, everywhere you podcast and you can hear that uh, wherever you podcast. It's just, I think it was called just a cooking place or something like that, but it's out there. Yeah. On Disney I mean, I put there. Gico in the top five restaurants at Walt Disney world for sure. Oh, Easily. Yeah. yeah. So. I, I just, oh. I just think the cultural, cultural immersion at that resort, um, whether you're talking to international cast members and they're teaching you something about whatever it is, they've got little nooks where like literally you just can go sit and they'll have people come over and yeah. play with the kids and talk and teach them about different kinds of drums and different. It just, it's they, crazy. It's, I it, love it. It, it just harkens back to five days just there. What- <laughs> It harkens back to what Pat said earlier, Joe Rody. I mean, it just yeah. if you're a Disney fan, which a few episodes back we did the whole Disney adult thing. If you're into that kind of thing, I mean, Joe Rody did it. So it's, just, it's an extension. It's not going to be animal. fucked up. It's an extension of that park. You know, it just yeah, clearly. You know, we've talked and a lot quiet. about it. We've talked a lot about theming and how immersive it is. And one of the things that I really want to give the resort a huge uh, amount of credit for is that. 
man, it would be super easy for them to just slap Simba and Rafiki uh-huh. on a bunch of shit, and they don't. And I'm mm-hmm. really, really glad they don't. Because you, I think you would miss oh. a lot more of the the detail and uh, the the true the truer experience that Joe Rody was trying to create with this resort. Uh, yeah. If you were staring at Simba and Rafiki and all sorts of other Pumba and Timo, whatever, uh, all the different characters uh, uh, from the Lion King on here, it would be this the easiest cop out of all the resorts. Uh, for, for sure, uh, they're for in there just character. in an artistic way, not idea. in a cartoon way. They're all yes. like. Yep. interspersed in a clever way that you have to know that this particular spiral oh that's actually something that was in the lion yeah. king you know whatever yeah. but it's like you said it's not an in your face like everywhere you yeah. look there's a well, giant bright colored cartoon even, so even the the gift shop at like the jamba house they have some like really cool gifts that yeah they usually have little, uh, awesome. like a guy whittling whittling yeah. uh like a giraffe or or something yep. but anyways you can purchase this stuff i'm sure it's not been whittled by this guy but you know, they probably ship them in somewhere, but I mean, they have, they have giraffes that are like three foot, four foot tall that you could buy. They have like, there's some crazy stuff, unique stuff yeah. in their gift shop. They're not cheap by the way, either. I, like no, the smallest think, one is like 50 bucks. So I don't, I'm not even sure you can buy like a Lion King shirt or whatever. They're usually, it just has to do with like a plane, like an animal. That I'm would sure be you in can. The, I, I mean, I don't remember <laughs> seeing it, but what I what stuck out to me was like the, uh, like they had different animal shirts. Yeah. So. They haven't made it to where the IP is thrown up all over the place. It is right. a subtle reminder that Disney is there, but also not there. And it's just well done. And it from top to bottom, they didn't miss on anything, but the, uh, some of the logistical things, but yeah, I can look past those pretty simply because the place is incredible. So yeah. <laughs> In a vacuum, would you say without, you know, worrying about the transportation to the parks, if you were just going here, as a resort only stay, would this be your top pick? Yeah, I think it would be hard not. Yeah, if it, we're not talking logistics, yeah, yeah, yeah it is. I don't yeah. think the rooms are, are as nice per se as like the Grand Floridian or the Poly rooms, Bathrooms, but they're not, not bad rooms. Uh, <laughs> but they're not bad <laughs> rooms. And then everything else that you get with it from the food to the pools, I just, and the access to the animals and the carvings like we've been talking about on the walls and all this, I just don't think you could say it otherwise it just is yeah kidani could use a quick circular like we could do a little better with some of the easy the easy food options uh especially at kidani but it's not like you can't get to jumbo you can walk over they even have a little bus that comes literally every five Mm -hmm. minutes and drops you right off like however you want to do it um i do call that an internal bus bobby and i will walk between the two (laughs) yeah the mara the quick service the mara is is decent options as well right so I just I think with the size and the scale, if they had another option, sure. it would it would benefit, uh, oh, especially if you so. are staying yeah. there as a resort yeah. only and you don't have groceries. But if it's, you're at Kidani, all of those are DVC equipped rooms anyway, mm-hmm. so you know you could easily make that work mm-hmm. out. So that's really the main I, I reason why it. I like staying at Jamba House is because of that quick service. That just like we have more stuff more there. Options. So yeah, yeah. I don't know. I kind what? of would still stay at Ep- or at a yacht club. That's just me. But yeah. you pick yacht club over. No, I'm kidding. I, I would stay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hundred percent. Go. I would. That's to me. It's the probably the best resort. You know, like you said, if you didn't factor mm-hmm. in everything else. But yep, I love staying there. So a good pick. Nothing uh, <laughs> bad said. Uh, <laughs> about it and i guess that's just one of those things when you get joe Rody in the mix there's not gonna be a whole yeah. lot bad you can say so mm-hmm. i guess i uh, wish you would have fixed the yeti before you left so there you go uh <laughs> leave that down in the comment section below say uh drop the fix the yeti in the comment section down below while you're down there <laughs> smack the like button it really helps us out in youtube's algorithms and if you like us consider subscribing it's free to do so and it would really help us out for everybody here at not club 33 have a great day Bye.